Hello everyone. This is Shubham Ranka from Team Prep Zone and welcome back to the best LRDI set series. I hope your preparation is going really good and if you are facing any issues, feel free to contact us on the given number. I'll be happy to take your queries and we can also connect on a one-on-one -on -one call. Okay, so uh, today we will be solving set number 43. I believe you all have been following the best LRDI set series. Trust me, if you solve all of these sets, your LRDI will be pretty smooth. So what I'm doing is I'm essentially taking some tricky and some highly expected sets for CAT and I'm taking a different variant in every set. And I'll be discussing the end-to-end -end approach on how should you think whether you should attempt this set or should you leave it. Meanwhile, if there are students who have joined some coaching or who are preparing by themselves, if you need only mentorship course, then this is a new and an exclusive course that I've launched where I'll be personally mentoring you. This is only a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. There will be no content per se. The assumption is that you have the content, but you need my support in mock analysis, practice events, shortcuts, strategizing, making a schedule, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So this is a very economical course. If you want to know about it, you can visit our website. Okay, meanwhile, this is set number 43. The rules stay the same. You have to pause the video. You have to attempt the set. And once you do it, then you have to see the solution. Even if you're able to solve it, I would strongly suggest you Comment what is your answer and how much time did it take you? Only then I'll be able to analyze whether you're doing right, whether you're doing wrong. And the ideal time for this particular question, you have to comment your time taken. Only then I will respond as a reply to your comment. And I will tell you whether this is more than the ideal time or whether this is quick enough to crack that. Okay. So let's see what this particular question says. If this, if this, this question comes in exam, the way I would personally approach this is you know, also, I would also be talking about how do I figure out which topic is this particular set from? Okay, so stay tuned in this. So in a particular year, a group of 300 people visited some of the countries amongst blah, 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 blah. Okay. Further, so do focus that why am I not wasting my time in reading the names of it? This is indifferent, right? So I will not waste my time. Further, each person visited at least one country, okay? Then any person who visited China also visited Bhutan. Bhutan okay? So all the people who visited China, they are a subset of all the people who visited Bhutan, right? While any person who visited Pakistan also visited Bangladesh, okay? So pe people who visited Pakistan, they also visited Bangladesh. Say Bangladesh is B. Any person who visited Sri Lanka also visited China. So all the people who visited Sri Lanka, they also visited China. Let's say this is CH, China. Okay, while no person visited Bangladesh, while no person who visited Bangladesh visited China, which means Bangladesh and China are visited by different people. These are the information. Then some information is given to me. So essentially, I have four dimensions, right? Because I have four countries, sorry, five countries rather, and I need to solve and crack the set. And there are some things that are given. For example, in exam, I will not waste my time in reading everything. The number of people who visited Sri Lanka was twice, blah, blah, blah. Bhutan, 20 less than. Pakistan, three more than, blah, blah, blah. Who visited at least three countries is this. Who visited China was 90 more than this. Who visited Bhutan, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I will not even think about it because I know these are the five, six things, that five, six information that is given to me so that I can make an equation out of it and I can solve it. And then there are some questions that how many people visited exactly one, exactly two, blah, blah, blah. So the very first, if I've done my syllabus properly, that's what I really focus you guys to do. First of all, if I've done my syllabus, I, I should be able to click that this question is from the Venn diagram. Why? Because in Venn diagram only, you will have at least one, exactly two, exactly three, etc. Cetera, et cetera, right? So this question is from Venn diagram. And now the first and the foremost thing that I have explained you to do in Venn diagram is to draw the Venn diagram as well. Okay, so let's see. These are the information that is given to me. This is which I need to draw the Venn diagram, which means Sri Lanka has to come within China and China has to come within Bhutan. So let's draw this particular thing first of all, okay? Let's say this is Sri Lanka. Say this is Sri Lanka, okay? Then after Sri Lanka, we had China. Let's say this is China. And uh, outside China, we had Bhutan, right? Bhutan or Bangladesh, we had Bhutan. Okay. So let's say this is Bhutan, right? I will also name it. So this is Bhutan, this is China, and this is Sri Lanka, okay? Now, I've covered this, then Pakistan is 
inside Bangladesh. Now let's see what is the intersection between Bangladesh is this. So it says that Bangladesh and China may there is no intersection, right? Bangladesh and China may there are no intersections, which means Bangladesh has to be outside of this. But nothing is given whether Bangladesh has an intersection with Bhutan or not. So in to be on the safer side, I will just assume that okay, let's say this is what the Bangladesh is. Right? I will assume that let's say this is Bangladesh. Why? Because Bangladesh can't have an inter intersection with China, so it has to be outside China. So in the general case, this is what I will take. Now I know inside Bangladesh. Sorry for this. The, it's, yeah, inside Bangladesh, I have Pakistan. That is given to me. Okay. Inside Pakistan, I have Bangladesh. Sorry, inside Bangladesh, I have Pakistan, right? That is what is given to me. So I will assume Pakistan to be inside this. Again, in the Jandik case, I will assume that, okay, this is Pakistan. Now I have to solve this. Of course, there are a lot of conditions that is already given. So, which means I will have to form expressions and I'll have to solve it. So the only way in which I can form equations and solve it is, I will start assuming the variables. Uh, I'll just change the ink color so that uh, all the students here can understand what am I doing. It's, it's a very important topic, particularly from LRDI. Okay. And also if you're not able to understand anything, do drop a comment. I will make sure to address that particular comment in my subsequent videos. Okay. So let's say this particular area is E. Okay, because I have to make some equations. So I will start assuming the areas now so such that they are mutually exclusive. They should not be uh, dependent on each other. This is A. If this is A, I will assume this is B. B is only this particular area, right? This area. B does not include A. Let's say this is C. So what all other areas is left out now? This particular area is left out. Let's say this is B. And let's say this particular area is E. Okay, let's say this particular outside area is F. And let's say this particular area is C. Because every person has visited at least one, the total is given to us as 300, I guess, right? This is 300. So the total sum of all of these variables has to be 300. And I have to start making an expression. Let's say, let's understand how do we make an expression. So I will again change the color of my pen to red now. Great. So the number of persons who visited Sri Lanka, how many people have visited Sri Lanka? A. So it says that A is equals to twice the number of people who visited only Bangladesh. Where is Bangladesh? Okay. Bangladesh means the number of people who are visiting Bangladesh is D plus E plus G plus F. But E plus G is also visiting Pakistan and D is also and D number of people are visiting both Bangladesh and Bhutan. So I have to consider only F, right? Because it says people who only visited Bangladesh. A is equals to 2F. That is my first expression. Expression number two is the number of person who visited only Bhutan. Do tell me in the comment section that how many people have visited only Bhutan? It is C. So C has to be equals to 20 less than, right? So 20 less than the number of person who visited exactly one country. So C, exactly one country is A to nahi ho sakta because A to tino mein, B bhi nahi ho sakta. It has to be C because C number of people is visiting only Bhutan plus G B N E B N E D B N E it has to be F because F is the number of people who are visiting only Bangladesh, right? So C plus F minus twenty. If I solve it, I will get F is what? F is nothing but twenty. If F is twenty, what is A? A is forty, right? A is forty. So I have calculated two variables. A is forty. Let's say next equation: the number of person who visited Pakistan was three more than the number of person who visited China. So Pakistan ko kitne log visit kar rahe hai? E plus G, right? So this equation will be nothing but E plus G will be equals to three more than the number of people who visited China. China is visited by A plus B, right? I hope this makes sense to you guys. I know the value of A, which is 40. So this is 43. So E plus G is equals to B plus 43. B plus 43. This becomes my first equation. Because I've already solved other two, so I'm numbering this as one. The number of person who visited at least three countries was 145. At least three, batao. C to at least one hai. B do hai. A, because A is the number of people who are visiting Sri Lanka, China and Bhutan. So A, or kaun se variable aega? D ni aega, D do mein. E aega kya? E Pakistan mein hai, Bangladesh mein, Bhutan mein. So yes, E bhi aega. A plus E. G aega kya? G nahi aega. G is only Pakistan and Bangladesh and F bhi nahi aega. So it's only A plus E. 
a plus e is given to us as 145 we know the value of a is 40 so which means e has to be 105 great humne ek aur bhi value nikali e is 105 but still i need the value of either g or b to be able to solve it so let's move on to equation number 5 see question is very straight forward ये डायग्राम वॉज द मेन क्रास अगर एक बार डायग्राम समझ में आ गया एंड यू हैव आइडेंटिफाइड द वेरिएबल्स करेक्टली द क्वेश्चन इज अक हो द नंबर ऑफ पर्सन हु विजिटेड चाइना वॉज नाइनटी मोर देन द नंबर ऑफ पर्सन हु विजिटेड ओनली बांग्लादेश राइट ओनली बांग्लादेश क्या है अपना एफ है विच मीन्स एफ प्लस नाइनटी राइट और यहाँ क्या आएगा द नंबर ऑफ पर्सन हु विजिटेड चाइना चाइना इज विजिटेड बाई ए प्लस ए प्लस बी हैज टू बीवल्स टू नाइनटी प्लस एफ राइट Which means f का वैल्यू मुझे पता है ट्वेंटी है एंड ए का वैल्यू इज फोर्टी सो ट्वेंटी प्लस नाइनटी हंड्रेड एंड टेन माइनस फोर्टी सेवेंटी विच मीन्स बी हैज टू बी इक्वल टू सेवेंटी इफ बी इज सेवेंटी सेवेंटी प्लस फोर्टी थ्री इज हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन माइनस हंड्रेड एंड फाइव इज एट विच मीन्स बी हैज टू बी इक्वल टू एट राइट ग्रेट लास्ट सिक्स वन द नंबर ऑफ पर्सन विजिटेड भूटान Bhutan is visited by a plus b plus c plus d plus e, right? Do not forget this d and e. D and e are also visiting Bhutan, right? Was hundred more than hundred more than the number of person who visited Bangladesh? Bangladesh is visited by how many people? D plus e plus f plus g. D plus e plus f plus g. Let's solve it. D plus e gets cancelled. D plus e gets cancelled. A plus b plus c. A is forty, B is seventy, C we don't know. So C plus hundred and ten. So this is hundred plus F plus G. G is this and F is this twenty eight, right? This is hundred and twenty eight and this is hundred and ten, which means C has to be equals to eighteen, right? So C has to be equals to eighteen. So I know six variables. I already know in total I have seven variables. The last variable will come from this equation that the, the total of all the variables have to be three and six, right? So let's just total them: seventy, ninety, one thirty, two thirty, two thirty-five, two thirty-five plus ten is two forty-five, two forty-five plus sixteen, right? Two sixty-one. So the only left over is one single variable, which is d. So d has to be thirty-nine. Has to be thirty. I have, uh, I think I have calculated the values of all the variables. Now let's move on to the question: How many persons visited exactly one country? Exactly one? Yes, C plus F, right? So C plus F, how much? C is eighteen and F is twenty. The answer has to be thirty-eight. How many persons visited Bhutan and exactly one other country? Bhutan and exactly one another country? What will happen? बताओ क्या होगा B because B वो है जो चाइना एंड भूटान है सो B प्लस डी डी इज ये पाकिस्तान ये राइट सो B प्लस डी हैजू बी माई आंसर B इज सेवेंटी डी इज थर्टी नाइन आंसर हैज टू बी हंड्रेड एंड नाइन अमंग्स द पर्सन हु विजिटेड भूटान हाउ मेनी पर्सन विजिटेड बांग्लादेश ओके सो इट इज आस्किंग मी टू कैलकुलेट डी प्लस ई डी प्लस ई कितना है D is thirty nine and E कितना है E is hundred and five hundred and five plus thirty nine is hundred and forty four. Answer is one forty four. How many persons visited both China and Pakistan? China and Pakistan में तो वो intersection ही इसलिए है. So this answer has to be zero. So I've solved all the four questions. This question, if it comes in exam, I have to solve it in round in round one. Okay. so ideally the approach that any student should take while solving lrd and exam is see spend the first 5 minutes in just uh, browsing through all the sets theek hai charo sets char sets chahiye exam mein browse all the sets spend 5 minutes write a sequence order in your notebook that okay this is the sequence in which you are going to attempt it because the very first set that you choose it has to be the easiest and that's what will eventually come by practice theek hai and uh, write down a sequence order and solve it in that sequence but make sure you do not end up spending more than 15 minutes agar 12 10 12 minute mein bhi question solve nahi ho raha you have to leave that particular question you cannot keep on uh, hanging around on to that okay make that very very clear theek hai iske alawa if you guys have have uh, any other question or thing that you want to ask me or address with me or or get addressed from me feel free to ask it in the comment section also guys please please share this video with as many friends as you can i'm trying to 
come up and make more such interesting LRD essays. Also, if there is any particular topic or question which you want me to solve and explain, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you, and I hope uh, you you guys enjoyed the video.